And Paul Fortier, I guess uh, the expression, six degrees of separation. Uh, five years with Washington, two years with Cornell, and now you come full circle. You're here in Syracuse, New York for the opening round of this regional against uh, a tough opponent. And uh, in the other bracket, you got Cornell and Kentucky. Uh, I'm sure it, uh, it gave you a lot of memories when you saw the way those brackets got posted. It gave me a lot of memories. I'm very happy that it, it, it's, it's come full circle like this. Um, of course, you know, we wanted to get to the Sweet 16 and move on from there. There and I've been pulling for Cornell since I left. I've uh, been following them and to see that they've uh, won the, uh, the Elite Eight there, the, uh, the, the um, Ancient Eight there, uh, three years in a row now, and then to make it this far, win a game in the first round and now get to the Sweet 16, very happy for our Coach John Hill. You know, when you look at your career after you finished up in Europe, uh, Cornell really was, what, your first full two years of being a full-time Division One assistant. So really, you know, it gave you your start. And I know uh, you look at the, the coaching tree, Zach Spiker now at Army, you're at Washington, and uh, the straw that stirs the drink was Steve Donahue. He gave you that first start. He did. Uh, he, he gave me the first start, and I'm um, very happy uh, f to him for that. Um, you know, he's, he's been a, he was a great guy to work for. Uh, I, I I've been privileged there to work for two great uh, individuals there, and uh, Lorenzo Romar and Steve Donahue. So uh, I'm very happy, and very happy to be back at my alma mater. It was um, it was a little bittersweet even when I had the opportunity. I mean, they looked at me and say, "Oh, you're you're going back there. You get the opportunity to go back and to a Washington." But I was just very happy to be there for those two years under Coach Donahue. And of course, what we uh, had the reunion what three four years ago when uh, Cornell came out west uh, that game against Washington. A uh, little bit different uh, story back then, but. Uh, it it was still a memorable night. You came to dinner with the team, and uh, uh, you know, again, it's one of those memories I think that that comes full circle in the coaching profession. No, it is. It's a great memory. I mean, you know, you, this is a tough game at, at one because you know you're playing against guys that you coached and uh, and guy you worked for, but at the same time, uh, you saw I saw uh, how much progression has gone in, in the program, even just the year that I was gone, and now to see it uh, where coach, you know, where you went three Ivy League titles, and now you're in the Sweet 16. Uh, I'm just so happy for Cornell. What do you remember most about your two years there? I would think the players. I mean, you helped develop so many kids like a Jason Hartford and an Andrew Nave, but in the big man department. But what do you remember about your two years at Cornell? Um, just working with great kids. And uh, and for me, it was new uh, being, you know, I never really been in an Ivy League environment. And just even though those guys are, uh, how tough it is to get in admission-wise, uh, school and all the academics that they have to do. But at the same time, those are the kids work hard. They still want to be successful on the basketball court. And uh, and and I just and we had a great staff, and so it was just uh, it was it was being here on the East Coast, and I enjoyed that. So uh, it, it was just it just opened up a lot of doors for myself. What do you tell the players about the, about the NCAA experience? As a guy who played in the tournament, and uh, obviously when you get to this level, when you've got 16 left, there, there's no surprises at this point. No surprises. Everybody's good. I mean, even from your first round game, and uh, we just try to try to tell our guys that uh, you, you just never know if you're going to have this opportunity again, and you just have to take full advantage of it. Uh, you know, you see some great coaches that uh, you know I didn't even know. You have certain individuals that haven't been in Sweet 16s for five to six years, and that are you know name coaches. So we just try to tell our guys that we've got to take advantage of the situation. Um, we have not been to the next step as far as the Elite Eight since I think 55 or 54. So, and it's been about five years since we've been in the Sweet 16. So uh, we really want to make sure we take advantage of our situation. I know this might be putting you on the spot a little bit, but I would think in time you still aspire to be a head coach someday, even though you got a great situation where you are. Of course. I mean, I think that's um, most uh, assistants, that's, you know, as far as their dream and everything. And um, I, I'm just, I just want to continue to keep learning. Uh, that's why I work for a great guy, Lorenzo Romar, and uh, just keep understanding and keep learning, and, and we go from there. Can you uh, uh, look away from West Virginia and, and handicap Cornell, Kentucky? If uh, if you're Cornell, uh, well, what would your game plan be? I think tempo is probably going to be a key for Cornell in this game. Yes, I, I mean I know Coach D on the other side. Uh, he, he 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 always has no matter who. Because we're just watching the Kansas game. I mean you know you take Kansas at Kansas up until the end, and they were leading that game almost the whole game, and I thought they were going to pull it out. Uh, you know it's going to be Kentucky now. Uh, but the thing about it, which I think Coach Donahue did a great job was uh, that the non uh,
conference schedule where he's put those guys in situations where they played in tough environments against tough teams, name teams. So I think uh, all the Cornell guys, they're not afraid of anything, and uh, they're just going to come out and play, and um, I think they've got a good shot. Paul, it's great to see you, and hopefully if the stars uh, align up, it'll be a, maybe a Washington-Cornell regional final, but it's great to see you again. Thanks. Thanks, Barry. Good seeing you.